and uh, Cody had fallen asleep. I was just like playing my DS or something. And Cody gets up drunkenly and he's, you know, I think he's going to wander to the bathroom probably, except that what he really does was he wanders to the other side of the bed and he opens my nightstand drawer where I keep all my pajamas. And I wasn't really paying attention, but then I heard the sound of peeing. And he was just peeing on my pajamas. He just opened the door and started peeing. And so it took me a second to like, <laughs> like register that this was even a thing that was happening. And I was immediately like, Cody, Cody, you're peeing in my, on my clothes. Cody, wake up. Like, what the hell? And he didn't stop. And then finally he did after I was yelling at him. He was like, ah, stop, fine. Stop being such a bitch. <laughs> and like wandered to the bathroom. And I'm like, I'm not peeing. <laughs> <laughs> He's just grumbled all the way to the bathroom. Was, was... Uh, I had a lot of people ask, Hey, has the power ever gone out before? Like, yeah. I don't think I've ever lived anywhere where the power has not gone out, gone out at some point. It's never very long, but it's happened. It always happens, of course. You know, maybe maybe once a year or less, but yeah, power goes out places sometimes. It's a thing that happens. And number two, multiple people asked, is the power always out? It's like, what? <laughs> is the power always out? <laughs> yes, these lights are for decoration. Welcome. Yes, the power has never been on in this area. It's always out. It's total anarchy here. The nocturnal... The people with extra good eyesight really flourish here. Store ...sometimes with their parents. And, I mean, it would put their parents at about my age or, you know, older. But what I love seeing is these kids who come in and through the internet and YouTube and all that, they've absorbed all this knowledge about stuff they did not live through. And they drag their parents along and, like explain everything in detail everything and i'm not waiting for it to jump on them but i'm just like i'm listening and they don't get anything wrong <laughs> yeah they get i mean they get everything right as a matter of fact they'll sometimes say something like no that's wrong and i do i'll uh, before i like you know join the conversation i'll be like google Shit, the kid's right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you know I'm gonna go sit my hands back down. <laughs> That's that. Those same kids, I've heard this line a couple times, and it cracks me up every time. Like, LOL stuff. Like, I'm out loud laughing every time. I'll see a kid, like you know, very very young, be like, oh, this this Wii game is so nostalgic. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so I had a an older guy come in yesterday, and he goes, Hey, what's your hottest seller? And I said. GameCube games to go. What? GameCube? Isn't that like a century old? I'm like, yes, sir. It was made in the 1800s. I guess frustrated that people weren't paying enough attention to him. So we had like this pizza in the middle of the uh, of the table. People were eating from. Well, everyone had, like had a slice, but there was still plenty of slices left over. And we were talking, you know, just different people talking. Cody wasn't getting enough attention and was drunk, so he just decided to pour the rest of his beer on top of the pizza. Yeah, it's cool. It. it wasn't cool. Everyone was really mad, so I went to go get... And then he was like, oh, I need another beer. So then I went to go to the bar to get him another beer, because I'm nice. And uh, he, he followed me and was, like, hanging off with me and was like, hey, baby, hey, want to come home with me? <laughs> and uh, the bartender was like, do you need me to get this guy to leave? And I was like, no, I'm dating him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Kelsey, you're enabling him. I know. It's easier to enable than to like... Yeah, this is how I got my start in uh, salesmanship. When I was a little kid, way back in the day, elementary school, um, our school was selling magazine subscriptions, and whoever sold the most got a Sega Genesis. Well, guess who sold the most, bitches? Now I'm back to my roots. Good. So, we receive our first box of 64s from Japan. These are all from Japan, mind you, which means they're going to require a little bit of extra work, right? To actually get them uh, all processed and proper and ready to sell. And here is the first box we receive. Hold on. 
We finally received all of the boxes today. Loading, 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 loading. There it goes. All right, here it is. Oh, box number one from Japan. As you could see, that was several broken Wii's. So, there you go. Tell us about the time one of your employees put a disc upside down in the disc greaser no! puzzle. It was one time! It was one time! You're right, it was one time in the company's history. <laughs> no! Uh, yeah, this is the donor for surgery. We're gonna take its disc drive out to fix the other guy, and we're gonna take its top off. Ooh la la. Um, catch any robbers at the store? No, no, no. I've never... I mean, we've caught thieves. That's probably what you meant. Because it'd be pretty easy to catch someone who, like, robbed you with a gun or something. Uh, anyway, anyway, the crazy... The wild man, the wild man. All right, let me tell you about a wild customer. Well, he was he was a non-customer, as I've heard people call it. So, uh, we had a fella come in. A uh, guy with no shirt. He's acting kind of weird, right? Uh... But I just let it go, you know, like you get you get a lot of weird people, especially in this area that it's it's easiest to just kind of let them do their thing until they start bothering somebody. Uh, so, you know, just, you know, let him wander around shirtless. Sure, it's a little bit awkward, but uh, it's a lot easier than having him throw a fit in the store because you ask him to put a shirt on. I swear, these guys will throw a fit over anything. Any any opportunity they get, they will fucking freak out. So you gotta you gotta be chill. Anywho, so uh, guys, there, and I'm just doing my thing. I can tell already, just by the way he's moving, that he's not a normal customer. He's not here to buy. He's just here to kind of look around. Uh, so you don't you don't want to make too many movements. Unfortunately, I made a movement that caught his eye, and he stops me and he's like, "Hey, man, hey." So I'm looking for. Oh, fuck, what did he ask for? I'm looking for Residential Evil on the Nintendo. I'm like, oh, okay. Uh, I'm not sure I've heard of that one. He's like, okay, okay, okay. I'm gonna need Dreamcast Metal Gear. I'm like, oh, um, that also, I don't think that exists, sir. I'm sorry. Okay, 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 okay. I'm gonna need the Princess Bride on the Game Boy. I'm like, oh. That also is... What? So, no, nothing, nothing's making any sense out of this guy's mouth, and I can't really help him. And he's starting to kind of throw a fit, you know? He's starting to be like, Oh, you're not doing what I want! You know, like, I don't even... He wouldn't even have bought anything anyway, even if uh, I did have any of these fictional items. Um, hold on. So, uh, sorry. Very distracted right now. He wouldn't even have bought anything anyway, even if I had any of the crazy things he was asking for. But, uh, uh, uh so, yeah, I actually, he's just he's starting to throw a fit, so I say, like, all right, all right, man, you gotta go. You can't be in here without a shirt on. And he's like, what the fuck? Man, I'm just trying to get some games. It's my day off. I'm like, man, like, you look like every day is your day off, fool. Like, what the hell are you talking about? It's your day off. He's yelling at me about how it's his day off, and he, he demands stuff, and he runs up to the to the counter where I'm working with one of my newer employees and the new employee starts to cry um, so that was that was troubling because I mean I don't know I guess I guess it's not necessarily a requirement that you be tough to work here it's not like a, something that we can fire you over but uh, you do need to be tough to work on the app because people are fucking crazy here uh so yeah he just kind of starts to cry he's like i don't know man i don't know what, i don't know what you want man i'm sorry i don't know i don't know and and he just kind of like gets out of the way so i'm like all right that's that's not a that didn't inspire a lot of confidence thank you uh so anyway i kind of am slowly pushing the guy outside you know what i mean i'm just like all right let's get out of here let's go let's go and he's yelling at me the whole time acting like he's gonna hit me whatever typical things that happen here and uh we get outside or oh no on my way of bringing him outside he drops a full well half full fifth of vodka out of his coat that he was holding 
was like, oh, that explains your actions, I guess. I don't know. Usually I don't have people drinking, acting so crazy in this store. Usually it's like other things. Um, you know, you can tell because of the smell. You can smell alcohol pretty easily. Uh, anyway. So the, so yeah, yeah. So the guys get, get, I finally get him out of the store. And he's in front of the store now, kind of yelling. And this is the Seattle way. Instead of like anyone calling the police or anything, everyone just kind of pulls out their phones to record it. <laughs> It's just like, yeah. Um, and honestly, like, just the way the police are around here, like, I was on the phone with them, but pretty much about to tell them to go away. Like, never mind, don't worry about it. It's just a threat to make the guy go away. The police don't actually come. So, anyway. Uh... <laughs> Anyway, uh, what was I saying? Uh, 